This is a brave game. To the devs who made Journey to Foundation, I want you to know you are very brave. Because I feel like most VR games, since their budgets and audiences both are smaller than regular games, they usually stick to making sandboxes or just focus on doing one thing well. Whoa. <laughs> That's fun. But this game is one of like three VR games in existence that is trying to be a completely story-driven RPG. If you remember the name Harry Seldon, or his dream of building Foundation. Ba -ba. <laughs> At least the VR equivalent of one. And before I go any further, they did say, hey, if you make a video on our game, we'll pay you for it. So thank you for that, devs. But in the contract I signed with the marketing agency, it literally said I have to provide honest sentiment. And honestly, I didn't think I could be interested in a new story. Capsules, device for receiving messages across sub sub ether. Okay, dude, you could just you could just call it text messages. I know that makes me part of the problem. This is why all we get now are reboots and remakes. So as a civic duty, I gave it a chance. And it looks like generic sci-fi on the surface, but it's specifically based on a book, a whole series of books actually, by Isaac Asimov, which is one of those names that I've definitely heard before, but I have no idea who that is. So I boot up the game and I ride in on a spaceship, but I immediately learned that I have this mental science ability to see people's emotions and read their thoughts. I look Kazam. She's pissed. So it's sci-fi plus wherever that fits in. <laughs> I'm like tweaking her brain. But I, fun fact, do not intuitively know how to read people's minds. And I spent so much time on this first interrogation just reloading my save because I never thought to try motion controls. This lady probably thinks I'm insane. How do I do this though? What button do I press? I'm too stupid for this game is going to be a reoccurring theme in this video, which is rough because the choices you make in this game matter later on. Again, story driven game here, but I was too focused on learning how to do everything to be concerned with the consequences of my actions. I thought I was convincing her not to pull the trigger. Oh man, I feel like that's gonna keep my character up at night. The carrot or the stick? Stick, baby. Big stick. No, wait! Oh. <laughs> because they've piled on so many features that were built specifically for a VR game. Whoa. That's fun. Oh, this is a puzzle. In the first hour, this game had to introduce me to not just mind reading, but also gestures, climbing, shooting, plasma cutting, gun upgrades, thank you random space criminal, and one of the best hacking mini games I've ever played. How's it not matching color? Do I have to hit the right side of the box? I'm too stupid for this game is going to be a reoccurring theme. I was not expecting this game to have so much going on given that it was a story game on rails with small set pieces. Oh, I bet I use his dead hand. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Thank you, sir. And it threw me off guard so much that towards the end of the first mission, I met an opponent that I simply could not defeat. Can I open this, please? How do I get in there? This door. The opponent is the door. Equip the chip on the back of your blaster. This door just needs to be pulled open. That's it. But given everything that led up to this moment, I was convinced that this was a puzzle involving either my plasma cutter or my gun or literally anything other than just opening the door. Oh, I'm supposed to just open these with my hands? Oh, why am I this stupid? <laughs> I've been here for like 45 minutes. But once I got acclimated to the game, it did start to charm me because turning your hand to space spy mind trick someone is really cool. You will do my taxes for me. Don't worry, I'm coming. As soon as I open this comically slow door, I'll be right with you. I will save your life as soon as I open the door. Okay, I'm here. Where's the doctor? <laughs> I am the duck. But I really kept playing for the story. Or rather, I just wanted to see what location the story was going to take me to next, because when you're on rails, the developers can decide to do literally anything at any moment timed to the second. Oh. Oh, we're so dead. And luckily for them, the story is good. I came in cold turkey, so I had no attachments to anything in this universe. You're scared. Ah, oh, but I can read your mind to get the code, so... Try not to die until I finish reading your mind, okay? And the fact that I wasn't bored to tears while sitting through brand new lore kind of says a lot. Oh. Are you alive or... 
No. <laughs> you are totally moving every time I look away. No, you're moving right now. Ha ah, uh, ha uh, ha. Why couldn't I pick you up earlier? But they told me not to spoil the main storyline by telling me exactly what the major plot points were that I couldn't spoil. Take one more step and she dies. Yeah, we'll see about that, but she dies, Ward. Take the shot. What do we do? I killed her. <laughs> so basically, I took a 50 cal spoiler bullet in the chest to shield everyone else from one. Oh, I saved her this time. Nice. But even still, the story kept me interested. I say it picks up right around. Oh. But again, for a VR developer to put this much effort into a story game with lore that requires an attention span, bravo. <laughs> Where did you pull that out of? You don't see many VR games made like this unless they're a game studio that also makes regular games because they know the majority of VR players are. They helped me escape. Certain information has come to light. Smooth brain, for lack of a better word, myself included. There I go. I'm in that ship. <laughs> Blows up. So for the sake of anyone who uses the link and plays this game, allow me to explain to you all of the context that you will definitely ignore during the tutorial mission. Show some respect. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm too stupid. One, it's a long time in the future. The empire spans 25 million planets, which is a ridiculous amount of planets. Who is that guy with the funny hat? He's coming straight at me. Two, some dude predicts that this maybe isn't sustainable for the smelly primate species that evolved on Earth 12 millennia ago and says the empire is about to collapse. Can I just blind fire? I've died so many times over here. Am I hitting him? No. Three, this dude tries to build a secret colony to ride out the storm and hopefully shorten the amount of time that everyone else is acting like the chimpanzees that we are. Oh my god, I killed him with that. It's just like airsoft. I don't know why I said that. I would never blind fire, ever. If any airsoft refs see this, I was just making a joke. I was just trying to fill time. I would never do that. I would never. Four, him telling everyone that the empire was going to collapse pissed off the empire, so he got yeeted into some forgotten corner of space 200 years ago. I think something's going on with the doors in this universe. This is why the empire is probably collapsing, is because all the doors keep breaking and no one can get to where they're going. And last but not least, you're a spy who can tickle people's brains. I can just walk right up to him when I do that. Oh no, I killed him. I just killed that guy with my brain. That is all valuable information that you can now benefit from while also doing what I did during the tutorial, which is just focus on the pretty colors. Don't pretend that you won't, you will do this. Whoa. Establish a secret colony that would shorten those dark ages to a thousand. Whoa. <laughs> if it wasn't for watching the footage back while editing, I'd probably think this game was a cooking sim. If only you could return my backpack to me. Your what? Which is perfectly valid. Ignoring tutorials is the inalienable right of every gamer, and I don't understand why we're pretending it's not. I was paid to play this game, and I still ignore the tutorial. For every comment under this video that says you should play tutorials, I just, I want you to know it doesn't do anything. I can simply look away. The problem with playing this on PlayStation is that I'm gonna get so used to eye tracking to pick these dialogue options, and then... I'm gonna go back to my quest, and I'm just gonna look at the option, I'm gonna be like, why is it not selecting? I'm looking at it. We're on the same team. I'm helping you right now. And yes, in this case, I am conflating paying attention to lore as doing a tutorial, because lore is just a brain tutorial. Oh, who are you? You sad? You want me to tickle your brain? Anyways, that's all I did this week. I'm about to test something truly dystopian, so hello to everyone in next week's video. <clears throat> Like this video if you want to, but love yourself no matter how many people you've spaced in the past week. No, wait. Oh, and if you, for some reason, decide to give me the privilege of your time again, then I will see you in some sort of space jail, I would imagine. There's no way I'm getting away with this. I sincerely hope you're not considering assassinating the legally appointed administrator of this facility. <laughs> Anyways, goodbye. I'm playing this man's brain like a DJ booth.